show you here how we're going to put a uh, electric start on a 92 Johnson 25 horsepower. Couldn't find an electric and a pull start flywheel. They don't make such a thing. Uh, and I'd like to have both. So I have my old old flywheel CDI ignition, two magnets on each side, four magnets. Uh, found this uh, flywheel off a of 76 with a starter and everything off a of junk donor motor. They're both aluminum flywheels. This one had a steel ring on it. Took this off a little while ago. I just want to show you how I did it. We uh, put this in the in the freezer overnight. Let this get nice and cold. Set it on my steel plate. My son held down the flywheel. Uh, first we sitting there, took the, the cutting torch, went around just the steel part. Took about three, four minutes. Got that where we thought it was kind of warm. Just a dumb luck trying it out. Took my block of aluminum here, the hammer. He held down the flywheel and just walked in a circle around a little table. And in less than a minute, it, you could just feel it moving. It just didn't have to hit really, really hard. Just give it some good wax with a nice big hammer. Just walked around a circle, popped it right off. They're made with an interference where this is slightly larger than this. They heat up the or they heat up the steel ring. They cool down the aluminum flywheel, set it on. When it comes back to room temperature, it's, it's locked on. So I'll take uh, this flywheel, which has already started to be cut. The right, This, where it started cutting from the factory, is the same size as the original here. So I'll have it uh, cut down in to uh, fit this. We'll, we'll heat this up, cool this down slide that on we'll show you that process when we get that far this is the uh this is the 92 flywheel as you can see it's aluminum but it's got a steel ring right where the ring gear would be for the starter so i need to heat it up and knock it off in this case here I'm just gonna, it's no good anyhow i'm just gonna put two cuts in it and bend it and take it off Okay, cut a little two slots here wide enough for a vice grip into it. Just going to put the vice grip on, give it a. There we go. It busted and came right off, so it's an easy way to get that one off. Now we'll get it machined down and uh, get the other gear put on it. Got flywheel back from the machine shop. A uh, local guy machined this in for me, uh, about a 30 second thicker than the, the ring we're going to put on it. Going to throw some Loctite around this. The ring has been in the oven for half an hour at 450 degrees. This is just dumb old number blue because they're blue medium strength Loctite because that's what I have. Don't know if you need it at all. Flywheel is about 10 thousandths bigger, or the ring's about 10 thousandths bigger than the flywheel itself. Uh, fly, the ring is symmetrical, so I'm going to put it on upside down so the wear marks are. Uh, the wear is the other side. Should drop right on. Looks good, I don't see any any light underneath it. What temperature was the oven on? Uh, well, my oven's 450 degrees. Room temperature aluminum ring. 70 degrees in here. But, uh,
Sure looks down to me. The old ring last time was drilled out for counterweight. So since this one was all drilled on this side, I put it on this side. I'm going to go get it balanced anyhow. I got a 50-50 shot of that being a good thing. But that's it. We'll send it out to the balancer now. Got my flywheel back from uh, ICS machine shop in Pittsburgh that balanced it. To, and, you know, it took 15 grams out of it. Drilled a few more holes. Now we're ready to assemble. It's our 1992 Johnson 25 horse. Uh, didn't have electric start. We retrofitted here, so. Uh, cover off. First start, first day that it's been above freezing for a long time. Gave it. Wire cables coming in, you know, battery into the solenoid, fused the link, went over to this switch, a uh, little push button switch to engage the starter. So let's try it for first, uh, first time here. Give it some gas, it's been sitting all winter. Here's some fuel. We're in neutral. Anyhow, put a, took the earmuffs off, put it in a in a garbage can of water. Got water in the telltale now, so anyhow, just to quick show you what we did. We found a charging system on eBay for brand new new old stock for 50 bucks plus shipping. So we put a charging coil. I really don't need it. But uh, anyhow, it's a 76 35 horsepower starter and solenoid and the ring gear that we showed you how we had it off and Put it on. Uh, anyhow, through the through the switch over there for the starter button, got wire uh, welding cable, number six welding cable uh, for the jumpers for the power. And anyhow, that's about it. We had to modify the to put the the old pull start back on. We had to modify the little grommet that holds it. Two grommets in here. You put a spacer to go into the into the starter to put the three bolts back on so i still got the pull start and the electric start because the electric start engages up and teeth go about halfway that's the way the old ones were uh, all seems fine to me saves your shoulder makes a heck of a nice motor then thanks <laughs>